you know, I'm just doing some exercises to figure out how to distribute the, the uh, work, the, uh, it's kind of a, uh, some of it's a, a throat, I mean, choking that kind of, that kind of muscle, the kind of muscle that you push back with, I guess, when you're getting choked. That the idea? No, uh, 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 no, 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 like, like, no, 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 you won't let me, you won't kill me, you won't kill me, I can push back as much as I want to, because I've trained for this, I've trained for this, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. Is that even possible? Is, will that help? I mean, it couldn't hurt. It couldn't hurt. It couldn't, it couldn't hurt. It couldn't hurt. And it might help. I mean, especially since I've been working on similar muscles for life, yeah, and clarinet, I suppose seating is a lot easier, I think, to, well, not a lot easier, but <laughs> it's, it's a lot easier to uh, to do the effect, anyway, and I'll try not to strangle too much in, in, in public here, but that, let me see if I can make, make even strokes, and, and then I can you know, try to refine, you know, the, the, the bandwidth of that, that stroke is making, uh, define that bandwidth how, how I want it, you know, however wide, but also to avoid the squeaks and rattles that, that are very unpleasant on this instrument, and, and it's not because of the reeds, you know, a lot of times the fingers, a lot of that, it's just the the temperature, I don't know, um, also how, how good the player is at uh, uh, adapting to the limits of the instrument might place on them, especially like the high A, it has a um, kind of a raspy sound, and so I, I try to, to tease it into existence, kind of like with a Chinese flute, a swooping uh, flute. Uh, sometimes it's more successful than others.